When Ryan Hootmacher started culinary school, he dreamed of a job as an executive chef at one of the world's really best hotels. But after graduation and internships in France, he realized restaurant work was not for him. So he and a friend from Kendall College started a personal chef business in 2004, which morphed into a catering business a couple years later. And then when the economy soured a few years ago, Hootmacher shifted the focus of the company once again to consulting. The Centered Chef was born. It's the point that delicious and healthy can be equally attainable. And there is a lot of work to be done to kick the stigma that health food tastes like garbage. That's it's been my biggest challenge. That stage. The bulk of Centered Chef's annual revenue, about a quarter million dollars, comes from corporate wellness programming, like this lunch event at Weber Shanwick. Through cooking demonstrations and seminars, he gives employees information on weight management, nutrition, disease prevention, and the basics of healthy food preparation. For Hootmacher, this business has personal roots. It wasn't so long ago, he says, that he was winded just tying his shoes. I was at a point in my life five to six years ago where I was 60 pounds heavier. I was pre-type 2 diabetic, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, I was depressed. I smoked cigarettes. I saw the big leaps and the risks that I've taken and where I've come to. And it's basically wanting to share that experience with people and push them to be bigger and better people and to do that through food. Hootmacher is the winner of Crane's recent A Day in the Life of an Entrepreneur video contest, receiving the most votes from Crane's readers. In his video, he tours his planned Culinary Wellness Institute in the West Loop, which he plans to move into early next year. Center Chef Food Studio's new Culinary Wellness Center. This is a big project that's been going on. See, it's an amazing view, and it's just a glimpse of the type of possibilities that we have to help Chicago out with with this movement that I've created over five years ago. Hootmacher has raised about $300,000 for the $800,000 project currently under construction, mostly from two private investors and a city grant. He hopes to hold conferences and workshops for companies by day and consumers by night in what he calls a learning kitchen. He's also actively seeking corporate sponsors for hands-on cooking classes, targeting childhood obesity and family nutrition, and he also hopes to tap funds from the recently passed health care reform bill. The facility also will be used for the other part of Centered Chef, culinary research and development. Hootmacher and full-time chef Jeff Jocelyn have worked with companies like Sara Lee and Applegate Farms, developing and testing recipes for their products. So we got a little bit of lime juice going right here. When he's not running Centered Chef, Hootmacher runs about 20 to 25 miles a week and last year completed an Ironman competition in Cozumel. He says entrepreneurship is like an Ironman, with one exception, there is no finish line. I have absolutely been pushed to the limits of wondering why am I still doing this. Entrepreneurship has definitely been the biggest challenge in relation to any of the other goals that I've set and accomplished in the past. This is an ongoing one that, that never quite ends.